day 15 hello everyone welcome back to my countdown to 50. today i want to share a favorite quote of mine and explain why it's so important and so meaningful to me this quote is a powerful reminder to stay focused and avoid distractions no matter what critics say now the, the quote is you can't please everyone and if you try you will lose yourself exactly you can't please everyone and if you try you will lose yourself this idea was beautifully portrayed in a song by the legendary nigerian musician ebenezer obey i i listened to it while growing up and i'll sing it at the end this quote reminds me of a story that was depicted in his song the story of a man his son and their donkey the man and his son were traveling with their donkey to a distant market. As they started their journey, the man walked while his son rode the donkey. Soon, they passed a group of people who criticized them, saying, Look at that lazy boy, riding while his poor father walks. Feeling embarrassed, the man told his son to get down and he himself rode the donkey. They continued. While it wasn't long before another group of people saw them and said, What a selfish man, riding while his poor son walks. So the man asked his son to join him on the donkey. So both of them were on the donkey. A little further along, they met another group who exclaimed, How cruel of them to overload that poor donkey. In an attempt to avoid criticism, the man and his son got off and decided to both walk with the donkey. So three of them were walking. As they went a little further, they met another group of people laughing at them, saying, <laughs> Look at a foolish man and his son walking without utilizing the donkey. How exhausting trying to please everyone. What else would they have done? The moral of the story is clear. You can't please everyone and trying to do so will often lead to losing what's important to you. Critics will always have their opinions, but if you constantly change your path to appease them, you will lose sight of your own goals and values. This story and quote have stuck with me because they highlight the importance of staying true to yourself and your journey. In my life, I've faced criticisms, unsolicited opinions, just like everyone else. Yeah, just like you. And whether it was about my decisions, my career, my personal life, there were always voices trying to tell me what to do. But I've learned that it's crucial to stay focused and avoid letting these distractions derail me. The honest truth is that we all have our individual opinions about life based on our background, our environment, our friendship groups, or even our belief system, which is what makes us human actually. After all, variety is the spice of life. But remember, you can't please everyone. If you try, you will lose yourself. Over the years, I've developed the strength to listen to my own voice and follow my own path. Even when others disagree, it's about understanding that while feedback can be valuable, it shouldn't dictate your every move. I know how I get my inspiration, how I get my understanding, how I get my leading. Thanks be to Christ who has saved me and helped me to realize that. Thanks to the Holy Spirit. Now, this approach has helped me in my creative journey. A note of caution, though, is that there is a thin line between confidence and arrogance. But well, I've learned to filter out the noise and stay true to my vision. Exactly. Filter out the noise and stay true to your vision. I encourage you to remember this story next time you're faced with criticism. Focus on what matters to you and don't let the opinions of others distract you from your goals. Thank you for listening to my story and my favorite quote. Do you have a favorite quote that has inspired you to stay focused? I'd love to hear it in the comments. Psalm 118 verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. You know, in those days, those songs, 
they'll take you through a long instrumental playing the instruments will go on and on and on and on so let's wait for it